Hello everyone, I am Guru Prasad Upadhyay. In the previous lecture, we discussed two methods to solve the first order differential equations. In this lecture, we are going to discuss remaining three methods to solve the numerical solutions of the ordinary differential equations in the module 4 of 18 Math 3 1. So, the third one is fourth order Runge Kutta method. In the fourth order Runge Kutta method, to solve dy by dx equal to f of xy, if y at x0 equal to y0 that is given, to find the value of y at x1 that is y1, calculate successively k1, k1 is nothing but h into f of x0 y0. Here in the place of x and y, substitute x0 y0, you will find f of x0 y0 multiplied by h that is k1. Here h is nothing but x1 minus x0. Okay. After calculating k1 value, divide it by 2 and add y0 that is y value for k2. So k2 is h into f of x0 plus h by 2, y0 plus k1 by 2. So, after calculating k1, divide it by 2 and add y0, this is y value and x value is x0 plus h by 2, x0 plus h by 2, f of this is your x and this is your y and f of xy, calculate f of xy multiplied by h, that is k2. Then divide k2 by 2 and add y0, that is y value for k3, y0 plus k2 by 2 is y value and x value is same x0 plus h y2. Uh, find the value of f of x y, x is x0 plus h by 2, y is y0 plus k2 by 2 multiplied by h that is k3. And then find k4, k4 is h into f of x0 plus h, x0 plus h is nothing but x1, y0 plus this k3. So this is x value, this is y value, find f of x y multiplied by h. After calculating k1, k2, k3, k4, y1 is y0 plus 1 by 6th of k1 plus 2, k2 plus 2, k3 plus k4. That means y0 plus 6 inverse, 6 inverse is 1 by 6, k1 plus 2, k2 plus 2, k3 plus k4. This is fourth order Runge Katha method to find y1. So remember this formula. So, how to use this formula to solve the problems? Examples. Apply fourth order Runge Kutta method to find the solution of y dash equal to x plus y given y at 0 is 1 at x equal to 0.2. x0 is 0, x1 is 0.2, therefore h is 0.2 and f of xy is dy by dx that is x plus y, x0 is 0, y0 is 1 increment in x is 0.2. So, k1 is h into f of x0 y0, f of x0 y0 is nothing but x0 plus y0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 into h, h is 0 0.2, 0 0.2 into 1 that is 0.2, this is k1 value, divide it by 2 and add y0 that is 1.1, y value here is 1.1 x value is x0 plus h by 2, h is 0 0.2, x0 is 0, therefore it is 0 0.1. 0 0.2 into f of 0 0.1 comma 1.1, f of xy is x plus y, therefore 0 0.2 into 0 0.1 plus 1.1 substitute in the calculator, so you will get 0 0.0, uh, point, 0 0.24, divide it by 2 and add y0, that is y value for k3. 1.12, x0 plus h by 2 is 0 0.1 and h is 0 0.2. So, 0 0.2 into f of x, y is x plus y, 0 0.2 into 0 0.1 plus 1.12, so that is 0 0.244. For k4 value, x0 plus h that is 0 0.2, y0 plus k3 is 
1 plus 0.244 that is 1.244 into 0.2. So f of xy is x plus y. So 0.2 bracket open 0.2 plus 1.244 that is equal to 0.2888. After calculating k1, k2, k3, k4 substitute in y1 that is y0 plus 6 inverse y0 is 1, 1 plus 6 inverse 1 by 6 is 6 inverse bracket open k1 that is 0.24 plus 2 into 0.244 plus uh, point, uh, sorry 0.2 plus 2 into 0.24 plus 2 into 0.244 plus 0.2888 so that is equal to 1.2428 this is y1 y1 is nothing but y at point 2 so very simple method one more example here dy by dx is x square plus y square divided by 10 therefore f of xy is x square plus y square divided by 10 increment in x is 0.2 therefore f of xy is x square plus y square by 10 x naught is 0 this one y naught is 1 and increment is 0.2 k1 is 0.2 h into f of x naught y naught 0.2 into f of 0 comma 1 0 comma 1 square 0 plus 1 square is 1 1 by 10 is 0 0.1 0 0.2 into 0 0.1 is 0 0.02 divide it by 2 and add y naught 1 that is y value for k2 so 1.01 .01, this is y value x value is x naught plus h by 2 that is 0 0.1 now 0 0.2 bracket open 0 0.1 square plus 1.01 .01 square divided by 10 that is 0 0.0206 after calculating k2 value divide it by 2 and add y0 that is y value for k3 1.0103 that is y value x value same 0 0.2 bracket open 0 0.1 square plus 1.0103 0 0.0 square divided by 10 that is 0 0.0206. Now for k4 value h into f of x0 plus h that is 0 0.2 y0 plus k3 that is 1.0206. Then 0 0.2 bracket open 0 0.2 square plus 1.0206 0 0 square divided by 10 equal to 0 0.0216. So uh, verify all these values after calculating k1, k2, k3, k4. So y1 is that means y at point 2 is y0 plus 1 by 6 stuff k1 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4. Substitute the values you will get 1.0207. This is how to find y1 that is y at point 2 for this problem by fourth order Runge Katta method. Okay, one more example <coughs> y dash is log y by 1 minus x to the base 10 x naught is 0 y naught is 1 so increment in x is 0.2 h is 0.2 so f of x y is log y by 1 minus x to the base 10 and x naught is 0 y naught is 1 h is 0.2 now k1 is h into f of x naught y naught f of 0 1 f of 0 1 is log 1 by 1 minus 0 1 by 1 is 1 log 1 is 0 0 into h is 0 therefore k1 is 0 k2 is h f of x0 plus h by 2 y0 plus k1 by 2 since k1 is 0 here only y0 1 and 0 plus 0.2 by 2 is 0.1 so 0 0.2 log 1 by 1 minus 0 0.1 so that is 0 0.0092 now k2 is divided by 2 and add y0 that is y value for k3 y0 plus k2 by 2 that is 1.0046 x0 h by 2 is same that is 0 0.1 0 0.2 log 1.0046 divided by 1 minus 0 0.1 so that is 0 0.0096 now for k4 h into f of x0 plus h y0 plus k3 so it is 0 0.2 into f of 0 0.2 and y0 is 1, 1.0096 and hence it is 0.2 into log of 1.0096 divided by 1 minus 0.2 that is 0 0.0202. After calculating these k values, 
substitute in the formula final formula y1 is y0 plus 1 by 6 k1 plus 2 k2 plus 2 k3 plus k4 substitute all these values and we will get 1.0096 this is y value <coughs> now one more example dy by dx is y minus x by y plus x x0 is 0 y0 is 1 and you are going to find y at 0.1 therefore increment is 0.1 x0 is 0 x1 is 0.1 f of x y is y minus x by y plus x x0 0 y0 1 increment of x is 0.1 k1 is h into f of x0 y0 h is 0.1 g f of 0 comma 1 x is 0 y is 1 1 minus 0 by 1 plus 0 is 1 1 into 0.1 is 0.1 k1 is 0.1 divided by 2 add y0 1 plus 0.1 by 2 that is 1.05 is y value x value is x0 is 0 h is 0 0.1 0 0.1 by 2 is 0 0.05 so 0 0.1 into f of 0 0.05 comma 1.05 so in the calculator you substitute like this make it 1.05 is the answer 0 0.1 into answer minus 0 0.05 by answer plus 0 0.05 y minus x by y plus x 1.05 minus 0 0.05 divided by 1.05 plus 0 0.05 into 0.1 that is 0 0.0909 now divide this k2 by 2 and y uh, add y naught that is 1 so and hence y value for k3 is 1.0455 and x value same 0 0.05 0.1 f of 0 0.05 comma 1.0455 make this answer then 0 0.1 into answer minus 0 0.05 by answer plus 0 0.05 you get 0 0.0909 you will get the same value don't worry sometime you will get different values okay now k4 is h into f of x0 plus h x0 is 0 h is 0 0.1 therefore f of 0 0.1 and y0 plus k3 1 plus 0 0.0909 1.0909 and make this answer then 0 0.1 into answer minus 0 0.1 by answer plus 0.1 that is equal to 0 0.00832 then you know last step that is y1 y1 is y at 0.1 y0 1 plus 6 inverse into 0.1 plus 2 times of 0 0.0909 plus 2 times of 0 0.0909 plus 0 0.00832. So that is 1.0911. So, so how to use Runge-Kutta method to solve the differential equations? So we discussed the four problems in this. Next one is Melny's predictor character method. Here four initial values are given y at x0 is given, y at x1 is given, y at x2 is given, y at x3 is given and dy by dx that is f of xy is given. Now dy by dx is nothing but y dash. To solve y at x4, see at x0, x1, x2, x3 these are all four values are given for the next increment value y value is what. So that is how we can use Milnes method to find the value of y at x4. First step is find y1 dash, y1 dash is y dash is nothing but f of xy, y1 dash is f of x1 y1, substitute x1 y1 here, find the value of y1 dash and similarly y2 dash, y3 dash, substitute the values of x2 y2, x3 y3 in this f of xy, so you will get y1 dash, y2 dash, y3 dash. Now predictor formula for Melnes method, use this predictor formula, y4 predictor value is y0 plus 4 h by 3. 2y1 dash minus y2 dash plus 2y3 dash. Remember this formula y0, y0 is given that is y at x0 plus 4 into increment in x means x1 minus x0 or x2 minus x1 or x3 minus x2 that is increment h 4h by 3 2y1 dash 2 times of y1 dash minus y2 dash plus 2 times of y3 dash. After calculating y4 predictor value find y4 dash y4 dash is nothing but f of x4 y4 x4 is 
so you are going to find y at x4 that x4 value y4 predict just we calculated y4 that is predict value substitute x4 y4 in this f of x5 you get y4 dash after calculating y4 dash character value for melnitz method character value of y4 is y2 plus h by 3 into y2 dash plus 4 y3 dash plus y4 dash that means y2 y2 is here this y2 substitute here plus h by 3 bracket open y2 dash plus 4 times of y3 dash plus y4 dash so in your syllabus you are going to use character formula only once otherwise what to do this y4 is substituted here find y4 dash once again again resubstitute y4 dash so you will get the better approximation like that so repeat that process to find y4 accurately but in your syllabus only once you are going to use character formula therefore no need to do all those things this is how to solve the differential equation by melnitz method examples so in this example so given that dy by dx is x minus y square and y at 0 is 0 y at, at 0 0.2 is 0 0.02 y at 0 0.4, 0 0.0795, y at 0.6 is 0.1762. Find or evaluate y at 0.8 by Milnes method. So here y dash is x minus y square, f of x y is x minus y square. And x naught is 0, x1 is 0.2, x2 is 0.4, x3 is 0.6 and so on. So increment in x is increment in x is 0 0.2 so this 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 therefore y dash is x minus y square and increment in x is 0 0.2 h is 0 0.2 x naught is 0 x1 is 0.2 x2 is 0 0.4 x3 is 0 0.6 y naught is 0 y1 is 0 0.02 y2 is 0 0.0795 y3 is 0 0.1762 now substitute this x y value in y dash so y1 dash is no need to find y0 dash start from y1 dash y1 dash is x minus y square means 0.2 minus 0 0.02 square y square that is 0 0.1996 next 0.4 minus 0 0.0795 square that is 0 0.3937 0 0.6 minus 0.1762 square 0 0.5690 after calculating this y1 dash y2 dash y3 dash use the predictor formula for y4 that is y0 plus 4h by 3 2 y1 dash minus y2 dash plus 2 y3 dash y0 is 0 plus 4 into h 0.2 by 3 bracket open 2 into 0.1996 minus 0 0.3937 plus 2 into 0 0.5690 that is 0 0.3049 after calculating y4 predictor value use this to find y4 dash y4 dash is x4 minus y4 square therefore 0 0.8 minus 0 0.3049 square see 0 0.8 that is x4 x3 is 0.6 x4 is 0.8 minus y square y4 square that is 0 0.3049 square that is 0 0.7070 after calculating y4 dash use the character formula in melnitz method character formula is y2 plus h by 3 into y2 dash plus 4 y3 dash plus y4 dash remember this formula substitute carefully 0 0.0795 that is y2 plus 0.2 by 3 into 0.3937 y2 dash plus 4 times of 0 0.5690 plus 0 0.7070 so that is equal to 0 0.3046 and hence y4 that is y at 0 0.8 is 0 0.3046 one more example dy by dx is x square into 1 plus y and x naught is 1, x1 is 1.1, x2 is 1.2 like that. So it is given, find y at 1.4. So increment in x is 0.1, 1.1 minus 1 is 0 0.1, 0 0.1 is increment that is h and y dash is x square into 1 plus y. 
Now substitute the x0, x1, x2, x3, y0, y1, y2, y3 in this formula find y1 dash, y2 dash, y3 dash. So y1 dash is what? x1 square into 1 plus y1, 1.1 square into 1 plus 1.233 that is 2.7019 and then 1.2 square into 1 plus 1.548 that is 3.6691. And then 1.3 square into 1 plus 1.979 that is 5.0345. After calculating y1 dash, y2 dash, y3 dash, use the predictor formula. y4 is y0 plus 4h by 3 into 2 y1 dash minus y2 dash plus 2 y3 dash. y0 is 1, 1 plus 4 into increment h is 0.1, 4 into 0.1 by 3 into 2 times of 2.7019 minus 3.6691 plus 2 times of 5.0345 so that is equal to 2.5738 that is y4 predictor value now find y4 dash that is x4 square into 1 plus this y4 so y4 dash is 1.4 square into 1 plus 2.5738 this one so that is equal to 7.0047 after calculating y4 dash use the corrector formula finally so y4 is required answer is y2 plus h by 3 y2 dash plus 4 y3 dash plus y4 dash y2 is 1.548 plus 0.1 by 3 into 3.6691 plus 4 times of 5.0345 plus 7.0047 that is y4 dash so that is equal to 2.5751 so this is how we can solve by Melnis method so four values are given then the fifth value that means y at 1 y at 1.1 y at 1.2 and y at 1.3 are given to find y at 1.4 by Melnis predictor character method. Next one is last method in this chapter that is Adams bash fourth method. In Adams bash fourth method, it is similar to the Melnis method predictor character method. The same logic. First, calculate y naught dash, y one dash, y two dash, y three dash by substituting the x0, y0, x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3 in f of xy. That is y dash. y dash is f of xy. Find the value of y0 dash, y1 dash, y2 dash, y3 dash. In the Milnes method, y0 dash is not required. But in Adams bash fourth method, y0 dash is also required. The predictor formula for this Adams bash fourth method is y4 predictor value is y3. y3 means last value, y3, this one plus h increment in x h by 24 into 55 y3 dash the last value 55 y3 dash minus 59 y2 dash plus 37 y1 dash minus 9 y0 dash substitute these values calculate y4 predictor see here just by had this formula so he got this formula adams bash for formula this is required for some particular type of applications or that curve so depending on that curve, he got this numbers. Okay, totally 55 minus 59 plus 37 minus 9. Their sum is 24. Therefore, after calculating y4 predictor value, find y4 dash. That is f of x4 y4. y4 dash is f of x4 y4. But use predictor value of y4. Then use the character formula. In character formula, y3 plus h by 24. See, these two are same. Here 9 times of just we calculated y4 dash substitute here plus 19 times of this y3 dash minus 5 times of y2 dash plus y1 dash. Here also 9 plus 19 minus 5 plus 1 is 24. So just remember this formula, character formula, substitute this value. See actual Adams Bashford method, you, you can use this character formula repeatedly. That means after calculating y4, again substitute here y4 value and find y4 dash. This y4, new y4 dash is substituted here and you'll get y4 second character and like that. Once you'll get the same answer, y4 value, stop the process. But for 
in your syllabus just use character formula only once means this much is enough for example dy by dx is x square minus y and x naught x1 x2 these are all given find y at 0.4 and y naught y1 y2 y3 is also given first step is f of x y that that is y dash y dash is x square minus y and increment in x is 0.1 x0 is 0, x1 is 0.1, x2 is 0.2, x3 is 0.3. Then write y0 value that is 0 0.90516.82127 that is y2 and y3 is 0.74918. Then find y0 dash, y1 dash, y2 dash, y3 dash by substituting x and y value in the f of xy that is y dash. f of xy is y dash. So y dash, y0 dash is See here, x is 0, y is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0, like that. 0 0.1 square minus 0 0.90516, that is minus 0 0.8952 and so on. After calculating these y0 dash, y1 dash, y2 dash, y3 dash, substitute these values in the predictor formula. y4 predictor value is y3 plus h by 24, y3 is 0 0.74918 plus h is increment is 0.1 by 24 bracket open 55 times of minus 0 0.6592 minus 59 into minus 0 0.7813 plus 37 into minus 0 0.8952 minus 9 into 0. So that is 0 0.6522. After calculating y4 predictor value, find y4 dash. y4 dash is x4 f of x4 comma y4 x4 0.4 square minus y4 0 0.6522 so that is minus 0 0.4922 after calculating y4 dash use the character formula so y4 is y3 plus y3 is 0 0.74918 plus 0 0.1 by 24 into 9 into minus 0 0.4922 plus 19 into minus 0 0.6592 minus 5 into minus 0 0.7813 plus minus 0 0.8952 that is equal to 0 0.6911 therefore y at 0 0.4 is 0 0.6911 so this is how we can use the adam spatchworth method one more example here y dash is x square into 1 plus y and increment in x here x naught is 1 x1 is 1.1 x2 is 1.2 and so on increment in x is h that is 0.1 x naught is 1 x1 x2 x3 y naught y1 y2 y3 so here it is given using this formula find y naught dash y1 dash y2 dash y3 dash y1 dash uh, y naught dash that is x naught square 1 square into 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 is 2 2 into 1 is 2 and so on 1.1 square into 1 plus 1.233 that is equal to 2.7019 like that y2 dash and y3 dash then use the predictor formula the predictor formula substitute here y3 1.979 plus 0 0.1 by 24 into 55 into 5 point zero three four five minus fifty nine into three point six six nine one plus thirty seven into two point seven zero one nine minus nine into two so that is two point five seven two three see verify these values using calculator then y four dash x four f of x4 comma y4 x4 is one point four because x3 is one point three x4 is one point four x square 1.4 square into 1 plus y 1 plus y4 y4 predictor is 2.5723 that is 7.0017 that is y4 dash after calculating y4 dash use the character formula so therefore y at 1.4 is y4 y3 plus h by 24 9 times of this value 7.0017 plus 19 times of 5.0 3, 4, 5 minus 5 times of 2.70, sorry, 3.6691 plus 
plus y1 dash that is 2.7019 substitute everything in calculator one in one step so you'll get 2.5749 this is correct value so y4 is that means y at 1.4 is 2.5749 so it's very simple techniques okay now we completed the fourth module in these two videos so please go through it and if there is any doubts you can call me and uh, discuss with me thank you for listening